Good, you're here. We can continue where we left off before. You got unfinished business with us first. <sighs> there are important matters at hand, yet you fellows keep interrupting. I'm surprised you're this eager to get another beating so soon. This time we brought some friends to even up the odds. certainly look like Lee's top student, though there's something odd about how you fight. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't matter. The sailors won't bother us again. We can get back to business. Sun Lee gave me instructions to await you if, if anything should happen. I have prepared for this day for well over a decade. The full extent of what the glorious strategist knows is beyond my mind to comprehend. He is without peer. All I know is that I had instructions to wait for you. Sun Lee asked me to seek a piece of a special amulet he wanted you, his prized pupil, to have. It was broken apart and scattered when the spirit monk temple fell. He intended to, and I assume he did, give the main piece to you. Rumor placed a smaller part with a fleeing apprentice monk, but it had been some years and the trail was cold. I eventually learned the monk had fled to Old Tien's landing. He was there a year or so, but died of lingering injuries and was buried with his possessions unsorted. It was rushed at the time because the new dam was due to close and Old Tien's would become a watery tomb. The amulet was beyond reach, so I came here and waited. Now the Lotus Assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of Old Tien's Landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the Spirit Monk Amulet, too. Yes, Sun Li intended you to find it. I was to tell you about it if anything happened to him. It was the last order he gave me, and I have waited years to fulfill my duty. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. If you want tea, have a seat. The serving girl will be by directly if I don't fire her first, a useless wench. Yes, good.
please, please excuse me. I, I know I shouldn't be crying in public like this, but I just, I just can't help it. Please, I'm just a humble woman. My name is Seamstress Lawn, and I have a problem I don't know how to solve. I thought, I thought you could help, but I was afraid to speak to you. It's my fiancé, Baker Bay. Every day a group of thugs attacks him and beats him up. He tries to avoid them, but they find him wherever he goes. The beatings are getting worse. I'm, I'm terrified they're going to kill him. After I saw you take on those sailors, I thought, well... so much, kind sir. You don't know what this means to me. If our firstborn is a boy, he shall have your name. Bay is down at Beggar's Pier right now, in the southeast corner of town. If you hurry, you can probably get there before the thugs attack him today. This has already become an educational trip. From what you discussed with Hui, it would seem we are indeed tied to important events. I have concerns as well. Hui convinced me that your master is the glorious strategist. Tell me, Don't Star, what are your enemies going to do? You would be better served by asking his favorite student. He was at the school three years before I was. Besides you has a claim to surviving the dirge attack. Don't worry, you are safe on your pedestal. It fits the time, but that just confirms my thoughts about being born under a bad omen. What could be worse than this attack on dirge and the water dragon? If that is the most troubling thing you learn about your birth, consider yourself lucky.
impudence. We have orders from Death's Hand himself, peasant. All intruders die. A thousand cuts. <laughs> Stop! I'm not your enemy. I, I swear by my ancestors, I'm not your enemy. I'm not even a soldier. Even though I wear this uniform, I I'm no soldier. My name is Chen Yi. I'm just a simple peasant from the town of One Stone. These soldiers passed through my village a few weeks ago. One of them angered the Lotus Assassin who was in charge, and the Assassin killed him. As I was coming back in from the fields, they grabbed me to fill his place. They put this uniform on me, blood stains and all, and told me I was in the army. Thank you, noble one. You are most merciful, and I honor you. My whole family honors you. Of course, great one. I will return to my village and lead an upright life of farming and praying. Thank you for sparing me. Thank you.
Is there anything you need? on my mind, although your company is all straight. Be well, my friend. Down to Beggar's Pier? Did you find my fiance Baker Bay? He's he's not dead, is he? Bay is down at Beggar's Pier right now in the southeast corner of town. If you hurry, you can probably get there before the thugs attack him today. shouldn't be here. Mr. Tate is not like others to observe him working. Who let you? Do thugs like you think you can just walk back here for food anytime? If I wanted human interaction, I'd have a kiosk in the square. Or maybe a trough. Why a trough? Well, we don't feed the animals, Mr. Tate. That's handled by the farmers. Step back, Mr. Wong. You just step back. You see, Mr. Wong, that is how we are regarded. Dogs to be brushed aside. Talk like that will not get you a meal at the best of times. Then go walk around it. I do not waste my time collecting rumors. Everybody eats. That is all I need to know. Good. I need to concentrate on the menu. You want to eat, you'll leave me alone. You're a stranger here, aren't you? I know everyone in Tian's land again. I've never seen you before. I would remember you. You should turn right around and leave this town. Trust me. Everything in Tian's Landing is falling apart. Sheng, the local minister, is helpless to deal with all our troubles. You should get out while you can. yourself, stranger, and be glad that you do not live in Tian's Landing. to my tea house. Oh, that's not right. No, not anymore. Sorry about the confusion, dearie. What I meant to say was, welcome to Master Dutong's tea house. 
be sure to have some tea before you go. I have a special blend that combines... Oh, I forgot. Master Dutong spilled wine all over it. I'm sorry. Never mind. doesn't mean I am a drunk, because I'm not. Well, just a little bit. But I'm brave, too. I'm going to go close the great dam and save the town. I'll be a hero. Well, that'll show them. Well, that'll show them all. I just need another drink to get my courage up. Wine! Someone bring me more wine! You've been saying that for three days, Rue. Minister Shang's already looking for other people to close the dam, and you'll look a fool after all your boasts. You bringing me a drink? No. Then go away. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Speak softly to him, and you should be okay. Go away! Jean not want to speak to you. Jean kill ox. Jean too strong, too rough with ox. Jean not want to hurt ox. Jean only playing. Now Jean cries for ox. Ox like to play with Jean. Ox like it when Jean throw her in the air and catch her. Jean missed. Jean dropped ox on her head. Ox is dead. Ox was Jean's friend. Jean killed a friend and now Jean is bad. Master already have another ox. Poor Ox. Jean killed Ox's sister. Now Ox won't like Jean anymore. Yes! Master needs my muscle. How else will he get second Ox in Bath? You have been nice to Jean. Jean like you. Jean, hope you have good day. Thank you so much. I was at my wit's end. You've done me a great service today. Come, Jean. Let's go home. Jean coming. Jean go home now. Thank you for getting rid of that thing. Business is bad enough without that ogre scaring away my customers. Here's a little something to thank you. It's not much, but it's about all I can afford these days. Do you mind? I'm in no mood for company given my present state of despondency. Farewell. Perhaps we shall speak again, if you ever tire of the braying and neighing of these barnyard animals. They say the ruins are haunted. I wonder if it's true. Dutong claims he's going to turn this tea house into a tavern. Can't see the difference myself. You bringing me a drink? No. I go away. Those sailors are the worst. They're rude and crude, and they don't keep their hands to themselves. I may be drunk, but... You really shouldn't waste your time here in this tea house. The Lotus Assassins are searching the ruins for the missing piece of your amulet. You must find the pieces before they do. It is said that the Water Dragon is the shepherd of the dead and a symbol of life and restoration. Beyond that is philosophy and not for a soldier to know. As you see, I know little about the celestial powers. I knew less before Sun Li asked this service of me. I thought such beings were beyond physical assault. I was mistaken. I don't know how the attack was made or what blade could cut the heart from a god, but I do know that any man who would attempt such a plan is arrogant beyond imagining. Pirates have raided local villages using flyers, swooping down like locusts. Minister Shang said he would stop them, but his promises have done nothing. You can find Shang near his still smoldering office in the center of town. I'm sure he will welcome your assistance, even if your reasons are your own. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. <laughs> 